All right. Uh, good fella scene explained. Okay, last week I thought that the reason why um, Joe Pesci in the end, Scorsese just brings back uh, Tommy's character and he just points the gun at the camera and starts shooting was because that was Tommy from Beyond the Grave shooting fucking uh, Henry because he was a rat and ratted everybody out. Um, so somebody said, Goodfellas, ex that was my theory. Goodfellas scene explained. Hey, Bill, you mentioned in your recent Thursday morning podcast your theory on why we see Joe Pishy, Joe Pishy, Joe Pesci fire a pistol. Fucking brain is always three fucking words ahead of my mouth. At the screen at the end of Goodfellas. It's actually an homage or a homage if you're in a bar. Uh, to the 1906 black and white film, as opposed to the color films back there, The Great Train Robbery. It was the first film with a narrative storyline, and at the end, there is a shot of a cowboy looking at the camera who fires his pistol at the screen, just like in Goodfellas. I actually watched the clip. It's pretty fucking cool. It was very jarring to the film audiences who had never seen anything like that, and in many cases, moviegoers would duck or shout thinking they were actually being shot at. Isn't that fucking hilarious? It's because everybody had a side iron back then. Um, just a little film history from a film nerd to you. The funniest red, the, to you, the funniest redhead on the planet. Keep up the good work and go fuck yourself. Here's the movie. All right. I will definitely post that, uh, that, uh, that clip.